performance of the NFED half-wave antenna EFHW, which I bought recently, has not been good on 40 meter due to compromised mounting as a result of space constraints at home. My friends advised me to try adding a 1 is to 1 balance in addition to the regular 49 is to 1 balance at the feed point to avoid the unbalanced current on the outer surface of the coaxial cable shield, also known as common mode current. As I did not have a regular 1 is to 1 current balance at hand, I thought of adding an air core balance made of surplus part of the feed line itself. Looked around for a 3 inch PVC pipe and found none in the store. It was then that the nice pet bottle in the kitchen table attracted my attention. It was exactly 3 inch in diameter. Started working on it after documenting the initial VSWR on 40, 20, 15 and 10 meter amateur radio bands. It was 1.9 at the lower end of 40 meter band and 1.1 at upper end of the band. On 20 meter it was 1.7 at lower end and 1.0 at upper end. On 15 meter it was 1.08 throughout the band while on 10 meter it ranged from 2.5 at lower end to 2.2 at the upper end. Surplus HLF 200 cable in the shack was just enough to add 4 turns on the PET bottle with 3 inch diameter. Total length of HLF cable from radio to 49 is to 1 balance was only 10 meter with pre crimped PL259 connectors at both ends. Though there was no significant change in the VSWR on 40 and 20 meter, there was a sharp rise in VSWR on 15 meter band to 2.5 at lower end of band and 2.2 at upper end of the band. There was a minor drop in VSWR at the upper end of 10 meter band to 2 is to 1. So I thought of adding 1 meter patch cable with pre crimped PL259 connectors at both ends which I had a surplus using an SO239 barrel connector. Rechecked VSWR once again, keeping the patch cable in almost a U shape. There were only minimal changes in VSWR across all four bands as expected by adding 1 meter length of patch cable. As the final step, I coiled the patch cable onto the pet bottle so that almost 3 turns were added to my ugly balance with an SO239 barrel connector in between. There was no significant change in VSWR on 40 meter. VSWR on 20 meter improved a lot with range being 1.1 to 1.0 across the whole band. Change on 15 meter was minimal. Improvement was noted on 10 meter with 2.0 at lower end and 1.1 at upper end. All these values across the four bands were tunable using the automatic antenna tuner of the radio. Testing on 40 meter was done after that and a couple of friends noted significant improvement in my signals while another could not find any change. Anyway, I am quite happy with the audio recording sent by one of them.